Say hello to my subscribers right there. Uh, hey, we we part of the company. We we part of that guy right there. It's the best mechanic there. Yeah, and yeah, uh, now he's an influencer in YouTube. No. <laughs> Serious. That's one of the best mechanics. Okay, today is gonna be basically a video on box sets. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is Mel. Welcome to Holmes Law. And like I just said, we're gonna be touching upon box sets, not just how to bend them, but also how to bend them when you actually have to make a bend and you don't have enough conduit to work with to actually place your box set into it. Okay, or when you have multiple bends and you need to place a box set on either side of your conduit, you know? For example, let's just say you're gonna make a 90 and both sides of those 90s are going into boxes, you know? And you don't have enough conduit to actually, you know, make your box set after you bend. Well, then you're gonna have to make them before you bend it. And that's what I wanna show you here today. All right, thanks again and enjoy the show. Okay, so first and foremost, today what I want to show you is, is basically for apprentices, you know, or beginners, you know, or maybe even, you know, savvy benders. I don't know. Maybe you guys don't know this. I'm not sure. But for the beginners and the apprentices, I want to give you, you know, this little tip, all right, that's going to help you do box sets and they're going to be on the money every time. Secondly, it's going to show you how to do box sets and keep them parallel. Let's just say you have six pipes that are going all going to be landing on a, on a whatever, on a panel, or maybe you even have two pipes going into a, a, a four by four box or a little junction box, whatever the case may be. You have parallel box sets going into a, a box. Okay, and you wanna keep them all the same to keep it looking professional. Well, this is the box set that I'm gonna show you here today. It's the first box set that I learned. It's the only way that I do it. Okay, only thing is I actually took the training wheels off. Well, I'm gonna show you today what the training wheel is, okay? And basically, what you wanna do when you're gonna actually, when you first start off, you know, bending pipe or whatever, you wanna get used to how to bend box sets and make them look good. All right, so what I'm gonna give you today is something that you wanna put in your toolbox and never forget it, all right? So basically, right now, what I have here is I have on my ruler, okay? As you can see here, I could actually, you know, take it out, whatever. I have it at two and three quarters of an inch. Okay, exactly. At two and three quarters of an inch, you're gonna make your mark, okay? Let's get rid of that. Two and three quarters of an inch, all right? And you know, for you, the beginner, you wanna go ahead and place that mark all the way around. Now you're gonna have a journeyman, a master, or whoever gonna come by and say, why are you doing all this for a box set, you know? Well, this is how you begin, okay? And after a while, you're gonna see that you don't need it because when you start bending them, you're gonna start to see where it is that you need to place your, 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 your conduit for that second bend. All right, and you're gonna know what I'm talking about in just one second, all right? So, what you're gonna do is, you mark your two and three quarters on your conduit, right? Let me take this off for one second. Okay, and I'm gonna show you a neat little trick, all right? Now, what you wanna do is, with that mark there, you're bending a box set, First and foremost, the first bend that you're gonna make, you're gonna keep your pipe flush to the, to the front of the shoe. You're gonna keep it flush and you're gonna bend yourself a 10 degree bend, okay? 10 degree really is not a lot, okay? It's really not a lot. If you look at this right here, okay, you're gonna see that in order for you to bend a 10 degree bend, your, your pipe basically has to be as straight as this line is, okay, in the same direction. What I tell my apprentices or whoever I'm teaching is if you take your the bottom of your conduit in between the line and where it is now, basically halfway down, you're done. You're done. Basically, it's 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 barely even a bend, okay? So 
you'll know if you feel like you've actually made a bend you know you went too much okay it's barely even a bend all right so you're gonna bring it down halfway from what it is right now basically right in the center somewhere you're gonna bring the bottom of your conduit basically right in between here okay it's basically nothing that's what you want to do for the box set okay now to continue on to show you what I'm actually trying to teach you here is you have your first bend done you bent it flush okay with the shoe right now you're ready to turn it around 180 degrees and now you're gonna bring your mark that you have this mark here with the front of your shoe and you're gonna bend your second bend okay and that's going to give you a perfect box set every time. And if you happen to actually overbend it, with, which what I tell my apprentices to do is after, always have a box with a connector at hand ready on the side somewhere, whether it's on the floor, on a table, somewhere. Always have one ready that you don't use. And when you're done with your box set, Put it on the floor and check it out. See if it slides right in. If it doesn't, and then just, you know, fix it up a little bit. Take out the bend a little bit. Always start by taking out the bend from the second bend, not the first bend, because if you do, you're gonna find yourself going back and forth, back and forth trying to fix it, okay? Leave the first bend alone and just try to say, take the second bend out and work with that one, okay? Unless the first bend is really messed up, then, you know, I advise you to cut it off and start over. All right, <clears throat> anyway, that's my little tip to you as far as box sets go. And also it helps if, like I said, if you're making parallel box sets, okay? Even if me, I bend them so many times, but when I know I'm gonna bend so many box sets back to back, I do my mark this way. I keep them all looking the same. They're all parallel, okay? And that's my tip to you. You'll always get a perfect box set, all right? Now, the main reason of this video is I wanted to show you guys, okay, another way to actually put your box sets in. Let's just say you had to bend a, a um, actually something like this, okay, a short piece of conduit. They're going into boxes, okay, both ends, and you can't put your box set in after you bend. You have to do it beforehand, okay? Simple enough, okay? Let's just say you want a, a 90 degree stub, all right? And your 90 stub is gonna be 16 inches long, okay? We know that the duct for three quarter pipe is six, okay? We're gonna go ahead and place our mark. I do it a little differently. I actually, I don't know if this is a good tip for you. I don't have to do the math, I just, pass my deduct on the outside and I put my mark on the 16 and that works for me all the time okay there we go don't pay attention to this this is a scrap piece of conduit that I had so this is my mark okay I'm gonna go ahead and bend a 16 inch stub all right <clears throat> And then the tail is gonna be on this end, all right? But I need two box sets on them, all right? Because they're both gonna be going into boxes. So the, what I do is I actually place my box sets on either end first, and then I make my bend, okay? But sometimes it's a little more difficult than that. Sometimes you know, you might actually have to calculate what you need for the total bend, and I have a video on that. Let's just say you're gonna be making, you know, maybe a, you know, a 90 or two 90s, and you need to calculate how much conduit you need so that you can cut it and make your both of your box sets and then make your bends, okay? So it gets a little more, you know, complicated sometimes, but for the most part, you know what I'm saying? If you wanna know how to actually do it, this is what you do. You make your two box sets first and then you make your bends, okay? But if you wanna learn how to actually calculate what you really need for the total length of conduit after your bends, you can watch one of my videos that I have up and it'll show you, okay?
Okay, I'll leave the link in the description and you'll be able to watch and it'll teach you everything you need to know on how to calculate, you know, the total length of conduit. Okay, it'll show you how to calculate for 90s, you know, offsets, whatever the case may be. It'll show you everything you need to know. Okay, basically this is just to show you how to do, you know, a better box set for beginners. But also how to show you how to put two box sets on either end and then how to bend it. Okay, so let's lay out our two box sets. We have one laid out here, okay, as you can see. We're gonna go ahead and lay out our other box set over here where our stub is going, right? Okay, so it's two and three quarters. Two and three quarters. And that's our box set right there. And that's basically it, okay? So now I'm gonna actually bend the box set for you, both of them actually, but before I do that, I wanna show you something, okay? Now, in order to keep both of these box sets aligned, okay, and you know, both of them are gonna be facing the same way, even after we bend the, the box set, we need them to be in the same way. If you wanna do that, inside of your conduit, okay, let me see if I can actually show you. Inside of your conduit, there's always a seam. I'm not sure if you can see that. If you can see that little seam right there, that's always gonna be in one of the conduits, okay? And that seam runs all the whole length down your conduit, okay? You could always use that as a reference for the center of your conduit. What I usually do is even when I'm making multiple bends and I need to know where the center of my conduit is, I'll come and I'll grab, I'll take a marker and I'll mark it like such, I'll mark it down here, then I'll turn and I'll make it actually down the whole length, down the center, right? Just a little bit, you know, with a marker. Then I'll come and I'll do the other side of it, okay? Which is directly down the center on the other side. Okay, now when I need to do it to my other box set on the other side of the conduit, I know that I can just find my, little, my, my seam, okay, wherever it is now, I can't see it, there it goes. I can look for my seam and I know where the center is also for the other side, okay? Now, that's just a quick tip for you, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and bend this to show you. Okay, 
okay, if you need to adjust it a little bit, okay? You don't want to take out too much of the first because you might end up going back and forth. Okay, now we have two box sets, okay? And I have a box, okay, on either end of these, okay? So now, I'm going to bend the 90, okay, up, wherever my mark is, here it is. such a short piece because I already have my box set already set in so I don't have to worry about it. Now I can go ahead and bend the 90 without there being a problem. Okay? Making sure that my box set is in the right direction and I can bend my 90. Okay? This is fairly quick. Okay? So, you can see here basically that I have two box sets, okay, one that's right here, okay, it's going right into a box and it's such a short piece, alright, so it'd be really hard for me to get a box set on that, you know, after it was bent already, okay, and also, I was able to go ahead and bend my other box set on the other side, okay, and basically, I have my two box sets ready. They're going into two boxes on either end, one on either end, and that's it, you know? This is a nice and easy way to actually do it. And now, imagine doing this with multiple bends, okay? It's actually, that's why it's a good reason to learn how to calculate, you know, total length needed, and I have a video for that. This way you can cut the exact amount you need place your box sets on them, then make your bends, okay? Now, if you want to learn that, like I said, I'll put the link in the description, and this is a quick and easy way to learn how to make box sets. There you go, and also a quick and easy way to put your box sets on multiple bends. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and share. Also, don't forget to subscribe, and I appreciate your view. Thank you, guys.